What's good? It is Miss Elation or Michael, and we are back with Silent Hill 2. Now, last we left off, we found our wife's look-alike, but our wife is supposedly dead, but she looks exactly like our wife, which is a bit weird. But besides all of that good jazz, we're supposed to be moving somewhere where I forgot, but we're going to head there now. If y'all are really enjoying the series, you better press that like button, get 10 likes for the next episode, because I'm not giving y'all, I'm not giving y'all the next episode if we don't get 10 likes, I promise you. All right, so we're going to head through the fog because I have no idea where to go. We don't have to fight anything, really. I know there should be the pipe around here somewhere because i need the pipe man this stick ain't doing it for me there we go yeah 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 there we go that's exactly what i was looking for give me that steel pipe bud we putting this wood shit up thank you very much more more range should be more damage i'm very excited and then we're gonna slide over here to pete bolo rama i thought i always thought it was a ramen restaurant because rama ramen <laughs> Play, you know. Not wife of material if you hate bowling. Bowling is excellent, okay? I'm just saying, not wife of material. You hate bowling, we can't be together. All right. Here's the pizza scene. So, what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Dude, what is up with you like uh, chewing and vomiting in the microphone? Uh, huh, you're just a gutless fat so. What'd you have to say that for? What'd you have to say that for? <laughs> because I was scared. That piece of Loki do look kind of good, though. Cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? Well, I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Bro, what you do? You still ain't say what you did. I'm just saying you should probably tell us what you did. What's your name? Mary? Mary? Uh, he heard that and he's like, oh, Mary, where? Let's go find her. Oh, of course the girl's gone, as usual. Annoying as shit. Can't stay in one place. What's wrong with her? Eddie? Oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> this music is kind of overpowering the <laughs> dialogue. <laughs> Who did I? Of course, throw a pipe at her, bro. Just saying. Wait, come back. I don't care what anybody says, dude. The voice acting in this game is like it's it's like comically amazing. It's really funny. It's bad, but it's like that's what made this old game like magic, I guess. Like, dude, I, I, I honestly I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with better voice actors. But like, y'all can't tell me the James does the express emotion. They just can't really express it here with this these voice actors. People are like, oh man, James doesn't, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't express anything. Yes, he does. He was clearly like, he was very upset right there. We just he couldn't see it on his face. But like, I'm always going to love this shit though. Like it's, it's definitely, it's, it's classic. It's amazing for the time. I love it. The cheesiness kind of makes it, you know, Silent Hill. <laughs> but uh, I do think that they'll be able to maintain keeping it Silent Hill with better. It'll just be more serious and, she went you know, there. depressing Silent Hill. See, the moment you say she went through there person like me i'm not gonna go in that narrow tight corridor it's yeah, just too much for me right through there and why didn't you say that she said she went through there implying that i should go through there when in reality there's a door right here it's no good it's locked and you didn't even try to open it with the key you was just waiting for me to check it out this girl what's up with this girl why is her her neck just said <laughs> Oh my god. What is he doing? He's just looking. This is like the most awkward shit ever. Oh my god. No dialogue either. All right. Uh, That door is locked that we have. Empty, empty, blah, blah, blah. Let's go upstairs. Where are we? All right. We are 
in paradise. <laughs> this is a strip club. <laughs> Just a regular stage. Nothing strange about it. Are you sure about that, bro? Heaven's Night is it. And this is the song Heaven's Night. Brilliant song. Don't think there's anything in here for us to access, though. Oh, wait. I stepped all over this first aid kit. Move, Maria. Damn. Is there anything else in here? Heaven's Night. Of course. Heaven's Night. And... We're already out. That was the swiftest visit I've ever had in a strip club. All right, so she went through uh, the side of the strip club and now she ran this way, I'm assuming. Such a difficult mission. Track down a little girl who ran. There we go. I, I almost lost her already. I was like, damn, bro. H how did you not see that, James? You're in front. Never mind. This is crazy. <laughs> Inside of the hospital, we go. Brookhaven Hospital, to be exact. All right, give me the maps. You know, I'm going to need them. Thank you very much. Um, So what we're going to do, what we always do in these survival horror scenarios, we always check the lower doors first. We check every single door on the lower level to make sure that we can't access them. If we cannot access these doors, then we move on. That's locked. So clearly we're going to be back there soon. This opens. Thank you very much. It seems to be about the patients hospitalized here. Jack Davis. He has attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown. Although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses orders, he must be watched closely due to his past pattern of sudden violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a psychotic break and a paranoid delusion. Normally calm, but has a tendency towards violence when excited. Joshua Lewis. History of hospitalization as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong persecution complex and a tendency to solve things <laughs> through violence. Extreme caution necessary. So was it necessary to read that shit? Because like... We're not going to run into any of these motherfuckers. All right. What are you looking at, James? What's in here besides a health drink? All right. What's in here? He's looking at something. Something is written on it. The potential for this illness exists in all people. And under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no further reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. I'll take the key. Thank you very much. I got the purple bull key. All right. Uh... We got a bull key, a purple bull key to be exact, and now uh, we can fuck about. I think all of these doors here are locked. So, is that? So, now we can go up, because I know that damn yellow door locked. Basement is blocked off, so we must go up, 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 up to floor two. And be on the lookout for any type of, yeah, there we go. Oh, shit, I forgot. Oh, fuck. I thought she just T-posed for it. Maria, move. God damn it, Maria. It's a, it's a, it's a nurse. It's a nurse. Ouch, it's a nurse. Oh, James, why are you locking on to the wrong nurse? She's not attacking for some reason. Let me see if I can get here without attacking Maria. Maria, if you don't get out of my way, I swear to God, if you make me hit you, thank you so much. So we, the, the first sexy nurse is dead. Uh, we're not going to here yet because we don't really need to. I need to clear out these first. Okay, listen here, sexy nurse. Just because you're sexy don't mean you can't get neganed with a pipe. All these damn sexy nurses, bro. Get on my nerves. <laughs> All right. Ooh, sexy magazines. All right, what's in here? What is this? Can I pick that up? It looks like something's there, but it won't let me pick it up. If she would move out of the way of that poster, I would appreciate it. There's something in the pockets. I got an extermin examination room key. I thought it said extermination room key. <laughs> That's what I get for reading too fast. Oh, what's that? So stuff the bear. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you should have looked at it, bro. Like, why would you, you know? I got a bent needle. Like, if you why would you pick it up then? Oh, there's a shotgun in the locker. We now have a shotgun, mate. A fucking shotgun. Why is the music coming back? Why is the music coming back? Oh, shit. That's why the music's coming back. <laughs> I didn't realize that. 
All right, two hits and then a kick. I can't tell, like, some of these enemies take more than two hits, but some just take two hits, and it's like, wow, I'm spoiled now. I'm about to die. Because I misjudged every single time. All right, we'll take those handgun bullets. What's in here? A med kit. And there's a typewriter. I've got no use for this. Wait, what's this? There's a sheet and carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know the number of the box, 7692. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. I thought I was having a stroke reading this shit for a second. The person writing it had a stroke. Now move, Maria. Is anybody in here? Hello? A lapis key. I just picked some up. Lapis key. Okay. Room three. Anybody here? Don't appreciate that. You stay where you are. Hit me and see what happens. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. We're going to have to have a reckoning here, you know? Sit your ass down, bitch. And stay down where you at. That's exactly what happens. I don't even think I've ever died in Silent Hill 2, like, to anything but, like, let's say Pyramid Head or some, some like, big enemy. That's what annoys me though. I just, I just, it gets annoying when these these nurses hit you before you can hit them, and then you see the red health bar pop, pop up, and you're like, bro, you can't prevent this shit. <laughs> you just gotta hope that they can't, they don't swing before you, but they swing really fast, and it's heavily, heavily annoying. See, look, this is what I mean. How the hell do they hit me before I hit them? Because my pipe has a longer reach. No pun intended. So shall we go up to floor three? I believe so. Ah. Oh, dude, I hate the music. The music, literally, I love it, but I hate it because it's just, it scares me. It's fucking intense as shit, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> but, uh, 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 you can attack me before I pull the trigger? That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. He takes so long to shoot this shotgun. I swear to God, it's annoying as shit. Dude, man, man, sits aims for like five seconds before pulling the trigger. All right, it sounded like there were more than just two, so that's why I started panicking. Panicking like Anakin, watching the show for Mike Flanagan. Uh, there is a code here. I think I need to find one. Find it. Is it? It's locked. Damn. Do I not have that? The code? Let me check, see if I have the code. All right, so I actually don't uh, have the code to that room. So I think I gotta go back downstairs and look for something. The roof is locked. Move, Maria, Jesus Christ. Gotta find the examination room on the first floor, I believe, because that's what I have the key for. There we go. We got the right key for this room. Why is she always standing there? Are you trying to scare me or some shit? It, it doesn't work, but it's just, it is a bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she just appears in the room before I walk in. All right. Shotgun shell. See, see what I mean? Is there a code anywhere that we can use? 7335, 7335. All right, 7335. Let's go. Creepy music intensify. Thank you very much. We're going to go into room three and she's going to take a rest. What's he holding a flashlight like that? <laughs> like a pepper spray, dude. What's he shining in her face for? Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Wait, where did you pull those from? It's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <laughs> On this dirty ass bed. That's crazy. I'm going to go look for her. For Laura, I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, and we'll take the key. I love how there's nothing else said. It's just, I'm tired. Okay. Well, I'm going to look for this little girl while you rest in this dirty hospital bed. Did any of these doors open? Jesus. First of all, sit down. Second of all, why did you wait to come back to life until I got closer? You could have you been coming after me. Y'all could have double teamed me, but you're going to wait. That's crazy. And da. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, cool. Save point. Thank you very much. And back to the action of slaughtering mannequins. Why did you swing that far out? You gotta learn. The telegraphing don't really work on me like that. When we all learn. All right, so the puzzle should be in this room. And we already have a few things for it. Uh, There's something written on the wall. Louise, take care of you forever is my destiny. Forever. There's four locks. Um, We do have the purple bull key that we can use on this thing. So we'll take that. Purple bulky. Yep. And then there's a code that we also obtained. And that is 7692.
Yep, and then we have two more locks to go. All right, so time to go up to the roof because there's absolutely nothing else we can really do on this floor yet. I'm starting to remember how to keep on track. Why? Every time I walk out here, there's somebody new out here. It's like y'all can't lay down for like ever and not come back to life. Thank you. Hello, is there anybody up here in the roof? Oh, there's a paper. There's something on the floor. Is it a diary? May 9th, rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. What they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic and weak. Not everyone can be strong. 11th, rain again. The meds make me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have time to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but... It's what I want. It's too hard like this. Uh, it's just too hard. 13. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I... The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What's a diary doing up here? I don't know, James. I have no idea. Same answer as you, buddy. All right. So, oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> this man just whacked the hell out of us, bro. This man just whacked the hell out of us and just stood there like, yeah, yeah, bitch, what you gonna do about it? That's for shooting the fuck out of me earlier. And realistically, our health does drop, thankfully, because that would have been kind of funny if it didn't. <laughs> just gets up and starts searching rooms immediately. There's something written on the wall. If Joseph looks calm, he can be taken out of his cell. There's something written on the wall. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. I'm gonna take a picture of this. It looks like 2726. Or 7726? We'll go put those on the spinny code thingy. Was it 2726? Let's see. 2726. Nope. And now we, I think we need one more thing to unlock this. So let us take a gander into our inventory and see what we have. We have a bent needle. Oh, we have the, is, can this be used? I don't think it is. I don't think it can be. It can be. Let's go. And, <laughs> There's a few hairs inside. All right, cool. We got a piece of hair. All that for a piece of hair. That's crazy, bro. And now we simply take the hook and the hair and we use it. Wait, what do you mean it can't be used here? Are you stupid, James? It's right here in front of you, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you had something long to go in there, that's what I'm offering you. Something long to go in there. I guess we had to interact with it first. Drop that shit, boy. The silence is like, like impeccably intimidating. And what's that? Elevator key lit. So we have grabbed an elevator key and there is a lift around the corner, I believe. Yeah, you used the elevator key and now we shall go. What floor should we go to y'all? Would this take us to where we couldn't access before? I think it might. So I think that's going to be floor one. It won't take us to the basement, but it will take us to floor one where we're on the other side of that door that was locked. I believe. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. Cool. With intimidating breathing noises and no enemies in nearby standing. That's some shotgun shells. What else we got? Handgun of bullets and is that it? It's kind of anticlimactic. C2. What the heck? Oh, this this little girl. Okay. <laughs> the music is just like hi. Why's she laughing like that? Was she the one to put the pin in the bear? No, I didn't call you na your name. <laughs> Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No. Maybe. Don't. I might. <laughs> I was friends with Mary. Mm. Last year. You 
liar. Oh damn! Right. Didn't you say you weren't gonna let yell? Let's. Go. Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> shit. Let's go. I didn't even mean to do that. I was just like, oh, shit. I was mocking him. I was like, oh, sorry. Yo, sorry, Laura. Damn. We can talk about this later. Why everybody That's named Laura? I just want to throw a pipe at. That's crazy. Except for the one in Logan. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Yeah, dead ass. Because you clearly see what we see, right? Wait. Is it a letter from Mary? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Dude, I need to see like I need to see the new voice acting, the new the new animations because I'm genuinely curious. Is it gonna give a completely different vibe in a bad way or a good way? If it's like you know more realistic and more yeah, dark, if they weren't so like what 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 you know what I mean? So dramatic. Not quite melodramatic, I don't think. Maybe a little bit, but like not over the top. Yeah, we're gonna go into this room. We're gonna go into this room and trust this little girl that stepped on our feet, our, our hands earlier. It's further back in the desk. Don't do that. Hell no. But James, uh, you know. What are you doing? Yeah. Bro, imagine like seeing that in real life and how disturbing you feel. At the same time, some people would, uh, Want me to open it? I ain't gonna say that. Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? <laughs> Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. This, uh... Bro, I'll be cussing her out. Fuck a snotty little brat, bro. I'll be, I'll be snapping. Laura? <laughs> Look up, James. Ugh. No, I actually hate this part of the game because uh, it's easy to get to grabs. And when you get grabbed, it's a long ass animation. And with that long ass animation, it, it, it's really annoying to get out of, you know? Can you shoot, James? Come on, buddy. All right, that one's dead. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the menu to actually reload because if I stand still here, uh, I will get grabbed. Run, please, run, run, run. Here we go. It took how many shells did it take to kill the last one? Come on, nope, nope, nope. So close to getting grabbed there. Not today, buddy. These are actually they look. Oh shit, nope. Okay, that one died. That one died. Okay, okay, okay. And there's another one. So we're going to use the menu to reload, but I keep switching to the map by mistake. Thank God for so much shotgun ammo, bro. All right, now dip, 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 dip. Nope. Oh, so close. That was close, bro. That was super close. There we go. This should be it. All right. Cool. Y'all did, bro. Y'all hear that siren, though? It's my favorite noise. James. 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 There's just no clip out of reality. <laughs> Jesus. I think we just no clipped out of reality. Where the fuck are we? I guess we'll find out on the next episode of Silent Hill Z. Catch y'all in the next one. Sayonara.